Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and perform a straight path procedure. So the first thing I would do when I enter the patient's room is introduce myself, perform hand hygiene, and explain the procedure to the patient. So I'd go ahead and do that. After that, I would raise the head up of the bed up to a good working height for myself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assist the patient into the correct position for the procedure. So legs spread apart. After that, I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene again, and then open my catheter kit. First thing I'm gonna take out is my sterile gloves. I'm going to don my sterile gloves, starting with my dominant hand, my left hand, touching the cuff only. And now, sterile to sterile, I can adjust my gloves. I'm now going to remove this wrapping with my elbow. I'm going to unpack the catheter kit. So I'm going to take the urine sample cup out. We don't need that. So I can get thrown away. I'm going to remove the swab sticks. Placing them back into the sterile kit. I'm going to take out my catheter and my lubricant, lubricate the catheter, applying about four inches of lubricant, getting rid of that. So now all I have in this kit is my swab sticks and my um, lubricated catheter. So now I can go ahead and take my dirty hand, move up the patient's gown, take my dirty hand on the outside of the box and move it over in between the patient's legs. Now I'm going to use my dirty hand to spread the labia and then my clean hand to clean outside, inside, center. And then I'm going to take the catheter and go ahead and insert it. Until I see urine. At this point, I can release the labia, just holding the catheter in place until the patient has finished urinating. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the catheter. Take the box. Before I dump it, I would measure it for INO, noting the color and character of the urine. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now I can tell off my sterile gloves. Perform hand hygiene again, and then assist the patient back into a comfortable position. After that, I would dispose of my supplies, ask the patient if they need anything else. Um, if not, go ahead and chart that a strikeout procedure was done and leave the room.